It's a TPO roof and leads into a modified uh, chip and gravel roof. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough. Uh, here where the drains are on this lower part, on the TPO part that's already been laid before, is that uh, here they created a, a well system and got anybody that knows about roof know what the well is. Uh, basically they cut the material down, seek the drain down in there to where it's lower than the actual roof itself. But in this case it was uh, properly, improperly installed because the actual low point of this roof is here. So basically I got pond and water in between the drain and the actual low point because there was no <coughs> creek that's ran in between each drain. That way water ran directly to them. Instead, I have plenty of water all throughout here. And the reason why these drains are offset uh, is that there's an eye beam that runs through this lower point of the roof that is pretty hard to cut through. So when the plumbers set these drains, they offset them. So in that case, your lowest point would be here instead of where they actually set the drains at. So what we're doing in this case to fix this problem is cut out 20 foot of this TPO on this side and this side. We'll run crickets in between each one of these so that water would run properly to each drain and not be punning here. So after we run those crickets, we'll run everything back to level out. That way it maintains this actual taper in the slope, uh, this actual taper within the, the normal deck in itself. Uh, it's a couple of other things on this roof. I mean, it's a couple of patches that are lifting up. Uh, they have leaking around the skylight over here. I uh, didn't see anything as far as the membrane go that could be causing a leak. It could be something to do with the windows um, and things like that, which they have four areas of these drains, which will have to do the same cricket system that I'm talking about in between each one of these sections. <clears throat> so going over to this gravel roof that we have here, Basically what they did was just ran the material over the suspension joint. The suspension joint is where two buildings meet together and you put that suspension joint across there so the buildings can move simultaneously <clears throat> without causing a problem. Um, here, they ran the material over. This is where they actually stopped the installation. So basically they just laid that over and it created a low point here. So it's plenty of water all throughout here. And they did not tie this into this gravel roof at all. They just laid it over. So you get enough water there. I'm pretty sure it's backing up. Up under there. Probably up until about here. So basically what we do when we do this roof, we'll end up laying our material all the way up to where they actually stopped their material, which was in here. So we'll cut this five foot out and run new material from that point all the way across same thing here all these drains are offset a bit so we run the cricket system in between each one so any type of water that is supposed to be sloping to the drains would definitely go in the direction that they're supposed to uh, there's an expansion joint here so we're running new expansion joint flash that pipe in that's attached to the expansion joint you know basically everything that needs to be done will be done properly all these <clears throat> units, these boxes, these curves, everything will be wrapped properly, corners wrapped, uh, pitch pockets, everything will be done. Uh, I'll make up a diagram showing exactly what a cricket is and how we will lay this field to better be equipped to stop any water from getting into this